we're here today with your weekly wine tasting. Uh, tonight we're going to try a Blackburn and James Red Blend. Uh, it's from Paso Robles and it is named Blackburn and James because it is named after the pioneers who settled Paso Robles, which were the Blackburn brothers and um, Drury James, who is the uncle of the outlaw Jesse James in 1873. So. They named it after them because they said their pioneering spirit is echoed in the wine. Um, and we thought that was really cool. It caught my eye when I was at Trader Joe's and it's $7. So we picked it up and now we're going to open it and try it. Do you want to go ahead and open it up? Mm -hmm. um, a little more information about this wine. It is a red blend and it's actually a lot of different grapes. So I wrote them down for you. <laughs> it's 45% Zinfandel. 25% Petit Syrah, 17% Cabernet, 8% Syrah, 2% Cab Franc, and 2% Sangiovese. Um, it's aged predominantly in like a neutral oak barrels, but 5% are aged in French and American oak barrels um, to kind of round out the flavors. And they're saying this wine is a little lighter than you would expect, which I think is really great because we're going to pair it with some pork. So I'm pretty excited to try it. And okay, I will do the honors. Here we go. So right away I can tell this wine, it's young, but it's it's got a little bit more of the the red brown it's not as purple as a super young wine so that makes me happy um i like my wines to be at least a couple years old this one's from 2009. it's got a little bit of spice i get a little pepper but it's not knocking me over um and i do get berries i get blackberry it smells like it would be light bodied yeah well it looks like it's light bodied let's mm. give it a taste Oh, this is nice. You know what? It is. It's just like the reviews say. It is a little lighter than you would expect because it does have spice, but it's um, it's mellow. The spice isn't very. It doesn't knock you over. The pepper doesn't choke you up, and I think that the berries really come through when you actually drink it. So you get a little spice on the nose, but um, when I'm getting mostly when I actually drink it, it's berry. Yeah. What do you think? It's good. I think this wine would probably pair really great with pizza. It's super light. I mean, I think this is lighter than a Pinot Noir. Yeah, I'd say so. Probably like as light as a like Beaujolais. A Beaujolais. Yeah, I agree with that. I like this wine. I think it's um, I think it's pretty palatable. You could probably pair this with just about anything. Uh, tonight we're gonna pair it with some pork and roast broccoli. But um, yeah, I would pair this with pizza. I would pair it with pasta. What would you drink it I with? think it's good to just drink by itself. Yeah, I, definitely. It's light enough that you can just sit there and sip it all night. I mean, we're not eating anything and I still want to keep drinking it, um, for sure. So I think this is a winner. What do you think? I would buy this again. How much yeah. was this? This was $7. Wow. $6.99. <laughs> good deal. So if you have a Trader Joe's near you, um, it's only available in some of the Trader Joe's. Go ahead and pick this bottle up. I think we both agree that we liked it. They have a website too, right? I did not find a website for them. Is it on the bottle? No, it's not. It is not on the bottle. Okay, well maybe they have a website. Um, but for sure, this is a great wine. It's really easy to drink. A nice light red, which actually is really satisfying. Even though it's the middle of winter, I'm enjoying it. So, highly recommended. Go ahead and pick one up today. And we will see you next week. Thank you. See ya. Bye.